Hey, what's going down, people of YouTube? You've got your boy Single Tap here, and today we are starting the second episode of my StarCraft 2 Beginner's Guide. Uh, this guide is to help any beginner uh, who's out there who might be new to StarCraft 2, maybe transitioning from StarCraft 1 and having a hard time, or maybe they're just having a hard time in general. Maybe they just need review. Well, this is the re uh, guide for them, and uh, today we're going to be going over necessities, the necessities in StarCraft 2. These necessities are... Uh, resources, supply, and units. We're going to be going over all three of them, why they're important, how to uh, manage them, micro, macro them as best as possible, and uh, we're going to go over all that and uh, more, a little bit more. So stick along and subscribe for future episodes, and let's start. So as I said, in StarCraft 2, there's three necessities. The necessities of resources, supply, and units. To be a good StarCraft player, you need to know these necessities. These are the gears of every StarCraft game you will ever play. And you need to perfect your build so it fits all these necessities in, like, perfectly. Like a puzzle. It has to just fit through, and you can't mess up the necessities, because that's what will mess up your game. That's what will put bumps in your game. You just need to keep these necessities rolling. You need to make a mental checklist, and uh, you need to put that checklist on loop. And every time it gets to the end of the checklist, you need to go over it again. That's the best way you can get yourself good at StarCraft. The necessities of StarCraft, the three bottom things of StarCraft for every game. You just need to know these three things, and you need to master these three things if you want to be a good StarCraft player. And uh, everything else will come afterwards. These are the three things you need to know before anything else. So let's start by going over resources. So resources are the most important necessity. This is a necessity that uh, powers the other necessities. Uh, they're definitely the most important aspect of the game, and you need to keep them flowing. There's two ways to keep your resources flowing. Uh, one is to create gatherers. Every time you create a gatherer, you will, of course, gain more minerals, gain more gas. You need to just continue to keep making gatherers, harvesters, so uh, it'll multiply uh, your gas and mineral in intake and uh and for like protoss you should be chrono boosting so you can get more harvesters faster it's just what you need to do and uh if you do it right you, in the end you'll definitely have the most the most resources but of course you're gonna start saturating yourself you're gonna get so many harvesters that your whole mineral field is gonna be uh, overloaded and you're not gonna be able to get as many you know resources as you could if you had more minerals to harvest from. So you want to expand. You want to expand first to your natural expansion. This is the expansion right outside your base. And if you expand to that first, you will um, you will have a good defense usually because each blizzard map usually has a natural expansion which you can defend easily. Uh, you can get units down to it fast and it, it's a very good expansion to expand to first. And uh, if you expand there pretty early in the game, you're going to have a lot more resources than your opponent, but it's also going to be hard to defend early game. So most people like to expand mid-game, and uh, it'll definitely pay back. The second you expand and you get about 65%-ish of your harvesters down there, you keep making more harvesters. Never do you want to stop making harvesters during the game. Uh, at the end, you should have like 40 harvesters at least at the end of a good game. So, uh, yeah, definitely you want to get uh, expansion. You want to get harvesters on that expansion. You always want as much minerals and as much gas as you can possibly get. And uh, that's that's what you need to do with resources. You always want resources so you can, you know, power your units. You can power your supply. And this is the main thing. This is the core of every StarCraft game. If you have the most resources, you can make the better units. You can make the most units and uh, you want to spend those resources too you never want to have a large intake of resources unless if you're saving up for something like a nexus or a command center or a hatchery that's the only reason you should have a lot of resources and you'll spend them right away if you have a thousand there's something you're doing wrong if you have a thousand you should be making more barracks or whatever you got to do to spend those resources because you want as many units as you can get at one time as many upgrades you can get as one time and whatever you need you need to get it all as fast as you can uh, so you can beat the opponent so you can uh, outspeed the opponent you need that advantage so if you have the most uh, the most resources at the end you're gonna get one hell of an advantage on your opponent and uh, it's something you should really have and uh, yeah so let's move on to the next thing which is supply alright so now we have supply the easiest thing to macro but in my opinion the hardest to uh, remember because 
when you're playing StarCraft 2, you're usually thinking about what units you're trying to make, what the future's, you know, going to hold, and concentrating on making harvesters, making supply depots, or overlords, or pylons are just not the the top thing on your list, but they have to be, because if you forget to make them, it's going to put a giant bump in your gameplay, and it's going to mess, it's going to mess you up early game if you forget, you could get easily rushed if your supply blocked, and you're sitting there trying to make a depot while the uh, opponent is rushing in with the zerglings, because they made another overlord, you just have to remember to uh, make this, and it's something that's very essential to the game and it's just something that you have to get in your checklist so every time you're playing every time you make a couple units just keep looking up just keep looking up at your uh, supply count and every time you're about three awake three away depending on de uh, what point in the game you are if you're early game you can be two away if you're a late game you could be uh, four away just keep getting the depots down overlords up and pylons down as long as you have the money and uh, once you get to 200 you know you'll be good so just remember to get the supply down, and that's all I can say for that. You just got to keep looking up in the top right corner, and uh, hopefully you'll get it down eventually. All right, so this is what it all comes down to. The whole reason you're getting res resources, the whole reason you're getting supply, is it's all to get units. You need units. That's what you use to manipulate, maneuver, and adjust the game to your needs and getting the right units using those units correctly putting them in the right placement that's what's gonna make the game you get the resources so you can make the units you get the resources so you can make the buildings to make the units you get the resources so you can get make the supply uh, depots or overlords or pylons so you can create more units you this is what starcraft comes down to Having the right units at the right time with as many resources as you can possibly have and as many uh, in as much supply as you need before those units are even being created. And that's what's going to make you a good StarCraft player. So make sure you are always making the right units. Before you start a game, you should have a planned out uh, what you're going to be making, what units you're going to be making. You should have it planned out. Uh, if you're playing Terran, you should have it planned out if you're going to make Marines... Marauders, you're gonna make a factory, but no tanks, no Hellions, and you're gonna go straight for uh, medevacs. The 3M, uh, it's called the 3M build. You want to have a build set up. That's what builds are. We'll go over builds in further episodes, but that's the basics of a build. What you're gonna be doing in the game before you even play the game. So uh, make sure you know what units you're gonna be making. It's extremely important. That's what StarCraft comes down to, and make sure you're always spending resources on the units. Uh, because whoever has the most units and the right type of units and micro the units, you know, the best, that's who's going to win. It all comes down to that. And whoever uh, has all three of these necessities rolling in the right direction and, who, you know, it all comes down to whoever's making the right decisions and can play the game better. So make sure you're doing all three of these right and it will make you a good player. Uh, keep this checklist down. I recommend if you uh, are very new to this game, you watch this video again, even though it's not done. But I'd like to recap... So, uh, yeah, let's recap what I've been saying this whole time uh, to get it down, you know. All right, so here's the recap. This is what I've been saying this whole, you know, video. You need to know these three necessities. Uh, here's just a shortened version of it just to refresh your memory. Uh, go over it all real quick again. Uh, first is resources. You, you need resources. You need resources to, to play through the game uh, to create the proper units you need. Uh, you get resources by consistently, never-ending, uh, constant looping, making harvesters, and expanding when necessary. Second is supply. You need supply to keep the units rolling in. You need supply, that way there's no bumps in your game. Uh, you, it's just a necessity. You need it. Uh, third and final is units. As I said, the most important, the thing you get the resources and the supply for, is units in whoever can... Adjust the units correctly, whoever can maneuver the units correctly, whoever can create the correct type of units, that's the person who's going to win. So if you keep these three things consistently in your head and you can plan for the future, that's going to make you one hell of a good StarCraft player. Uh, you just have to continue to master these three necessities. So uh, if you master these, you're going to win a lot. Guarantee it. Alright, so that's it for episode 2 of my StarCraft 2 Beginner's Guide. 
subscribe for future episodes, and hopefully stick around for when we get to the more complex stuff. Also, I thought of an idea. I thought it'd be kind of nice. Uh, I know a lot of people have questions. If you're a beginner, you have a question. Uh, even I have questions, and I'm a platinum player. Uh, so I thought, well, wouldn't it be kind of nice to feature people in episodes? So what, what I'm going to do is you leave a comment, uh, leave your question, and if the question gets any thumbs up, if it, if it gets more thumbs up than other questions, I'll go ahead and feature it in the next episode at the very end. So leave questions and everyone will hear the answer. And that'll be kind of cool, and if it's not too popular of a question, I'll still reply to it. I'll still answer it for you. And uh, so if you have any questions, as I said, leave them below. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, if you need any help, specific help on something, or you're already a master, you're already a platinum, platinum, gold, diamond player, and you just think I should uh, tell people about stuff, go ahead and leave that in the comments too. And besides that, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm out.